Every time you go to drag bunt, are you hitting lasers and having a hard time deadening the ball? Stay tuned to this video and catch some drills to help you execute the perfect drag bunt. I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian. I help softball athletes become game changers. I'm so glad you've landed on my channel for the best softball, slap hitting, tips, drills, motivation. Subscribe to my channel, follow me, like my page, do all of the things so that you can be notified when I post a new video. So I understand the frustration of trying to get out of the box quick, execute the perfect bunt, and you hit a rocket right back to the pitcher. When you're moving towards a pitcher that is literally bringing it, it is so hard to deaden the ball, so I feel your frustration. I've played around with some fun drills that will help ensure that you get down that perfect bunt. For the first drill, when we talk about drag bunts and perfecting that drag bunt, the drill we're gonna do is one hand top hand. That's the name of this drill, and we're focusing on that top third, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna have somebody toss to us, and we're gonna just get square to the pitcher and we're going to pinch at the bottom of the barrel. And we're just going to put one hand out and all we're doing is trying to get our eyes behind our barrel. We're aiming for that top third and trying to deaden the ball. But when we do this, we wanna focus on keeping our bat parallel to the pitcher because sometimes when we deaden the ball, we try to deaden the ball with our wrist, but we wanna make sure that we keep that angle the whole entire time as we bunt. Then the next phase of this is just to put our bottom hand at the bottom of our bat, but we always wanna make sure that when we remember, when we ever have our bottom hand on our bat, that's only for stability. This only steers the bat, it doesn't do much more than that. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna start square, and as we go to make contact, we're going to release that bottom hand to emphasize focusing on that top third of the bat. Okay. Is just focusing on that top third, but notice that I always have my eyes behind my barrel. So notice every time the ball is low, but I'm going down to get it, I'm still trying to keep my eyes behind my barrel. So what you don't want is you don't want to just drop your hand by itself. So we're trying to make sure we stay behind the barrel of the bat. And also if I want to get a little bit fancy, I can just walk into it. Level two, I'm gonna start with my right hand at the bottom of the bat. The reason why we do this, when we're bunting, we just wanna make sure that we remember this is like to stabilize the bat. So that's all we're doing is stabilizing the bat. But notice, once I make contact for the sake of the drill, I'm just going to let go to put a little emphasis on keeping my bat barrel out and not trying to give like this, but trying to give by trying to focus on hitting that top third of the bat for, to deaden the ball. I mean, as I'm aiming for the top third of the bat, I'm also aiming for the top of the ball. And so that's going to project the ball down. Starting here and walking through, I'm just dropping one hand. Our next drill that we are going to do is the hula hoop drill. And what the hula hoop drill emphasizes is having intention on where we want our bunt to land. So the biggest problem most girls have is they don't have any intention on where they're trying to get this bunt down, okay? A little bit of a bonus tip for you. When we are drag bunting um, from the left side, we want to try to get this bunt to the right side of the defense because bunting to a first baseman She's gonna take a little bit more time because she now has to feel this ball, turn around and throw us out at first base. We want to think about putting our hula hoop on the first base side and that is going to be our target as we bunt and trying to get that ball in the hula hoop. As you can also see, I have these cones that are set up here to kind of give myself a visual of where I want this bunt to go. It gives me purpose. Focusing, it eliminates the left side, and I'm only focusing from the pitcher to the right side. Ah. Ah. Yes, ah, that counts. <laughs> Those count, so you know, they went in the circle, even though they went out, at least they crossed in the circle, so that counts. 
tell me which drill you're excited to try. Now you have some fun drills to try to up your drag bunt game. If you need some help on the mechanics of slap hitting, I have a three-part mini video series on the slapping basics. Download it from gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash slap basics. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, coaches, players, and keep the conversation going about slap hitting, I have a secret society in a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, motivation. I go live weekly and we talk about all the things slap hitting. You don't want to miss it. I do want to give a Facebook group member shout out to KS Holmes, whose daughter was competing at the Little League World Series just recently and in Waco, Texas, and she executed the perfect bunt. Take a look at this, and she put some extreme pressure on defense, and I am just so proud of her. Keep up the great work, love what you're doing, and that's the beauty of a beautiful drag bunt. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, sharing this video. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. Thank you for joining, see you next time.